Hi, this is Sam Father from Xstable and I brought you this video how to fix the HTT proxy vulnerability at your web server. Easy and fast. So what the HTT proxy vulnerability? So the HTT proxy vulnerability which has been found recently is a vulnerability that affects applications that run in a CGI or CGI like environment. This means that the issue may affect almost all web servers, including Apache and Nginx and also most PHP applications. So the question is, what can happen if my web application is vulnerable? If a vulnerable HTTP client makes an outgoing HTTP connection while running in a server-side CGI application, an attacker may be able to do three things. First, proxy the outgoing HTTP request made by the web application. Second, direct the server to open outgoing connections to an address and port of their choosing. And third, tie up server resources by forcing the vulnerable software to use a malicious proxy. So HTTP proxy is extremely easy to exploit in basic form, so it's highly recommended to fix this vulnerability as fast as possible. Okay, let's do the first step now. First we open a CLI at our server. My server is an Debian 7 distribution and I use the Apache as web server. So first we have to look if the headers module are still activated in the Apache web server. So we wrote we write Apache CTL minus T minus D dump modules and because we're a little bit lazy we directly do a grab for headers. So we can see I have still activated this chat, this module. So if you don't still have activated this module, you can do it by A2 and mod headers. So mine is already enabled, so I get the message. If your module was not enabled, um, you will get a message that it's now enabled. So now we go to the uh, and create a config file. I use nano slash etc apache2 conf.d and there I can create a new file httpoxy.conf don't write a R into the HTT proxy. It's not HTT proxy, it's HTT proxy. And we open this file. In this file, we paste the following code. So, this is the code you have to write into this file request header unset proxy early. So, we've saved this and we do a restart a restart and our web server is secure again so this was for debian 7 what but what's with debian 8 the for debian 8 it's nearly similar but here are some difference first you have to create a file in slash etc apache and conf available. These are the directory where to save the HTT proxy file. And there you put the same into these files like we did before here in Debian 7. So after you save the file, you have to run a2 and conf and now the name of your file HTTP proxy. This will enable the configuration on Debian 8 and then you again 
s restart the Apache with service Apache 2 restart. That's it for Debian 8. So last but not least, what's with Nginx? So Nginx isn't harder than to configure this Apache. You only have to do this command to create a file which named fastcgi under slash params and the echo command uh, pipe this string into this file. If you have done this, I don't have an engine here so I don't fence this command. If you done this you only do service nginx restart and you also done and fix the HTT proxy vulnerability. So what else to say? I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you to fix the vulnerability fast and easy. I like coffee so I'll be glad if you buy me one. If not, please rate and share this video to your friends or other nerds. Also feel free to leave a comment. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.